Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Fighter. What do we have on tap for today? We have the competition of the waterproof tough cases. You know, by now you've probably seen this channel isn't about the whole razzle dazzle, high tech, cool introductions, music, graphics, all that kind of stuff. It's not about that. It's just about a normal guy like you. I'm just checking out technology and accessories, things that I want to buy, and then I decide what's the best of the different items that I buy. And the reason I share this with you, so you don't have to go through the same thing. So you don't have to go out and buy three cases and have to decide which one's better and return the other two. No, this way you can just see the video, decide what you like, see the pros and cons, see what is considered to be the best by some of us, and then make your own choice based on that. Now, on top of what we're doing here, remember, I always give a, a free item in every one of my competition videos, and the item this time is this unicorn beetle. And you know who's going to get it? Well, I was looking through my list of new subscribers, and some of you who commented on my videos, and I was really intrigued by the name Log Home. So I don't know if this is Mr. Log Home or Mrs. Log Home. Whoever you are, I'll be reaching out to you, and I'll be sending you this case, free of charge just for being a subscriber to my channel. Alrighty, but let's get back to the tough cases, the tough waterproof cases. So which one should we start off with? Well, there's two life-proof cases, so let's start off with one of those. Uh, life-proof has a good reputation, it's a well-known brand. Probably most people will automatically assume that's gonna be the winner, but Pelican has a pretty nice waterproof case too, the Marine. Let's start by discussing what I'm gonna talk about in reference to each case. We're gonna talk about buttons, we're gonna talk about um, sound, we're gonna talk about the feel in the hand, we're gonna talk about the build quality, and about the screen. And we'll look at all those things for each one of these phones, I mean each one of these uh, cases. So let's start with the Nude. Okay, the Nude, don't let the color fool you. It's really not that nice of a blue. I was really disappointed, to be totally honest, because I was expecting a darker blue because it says Midnight Indigo on the case. Well, it's actually kind of a teal color, and really, it made my phone look cheap. I wish I had gotten the black. But, you know, if you like the colorful thing, you might want to go for this. But I kind of describe it as Fisher-Price blue because it just makes it, makes it look cheap. And, you know, who wants to make this beautiful jet black iPhone 7 Plus look cheap? But, I guess that's kind of a subjective type of thing. If I had to do it all over again, I'd get the black one. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this in here. But ease of use, it goes in there fairly easily. Just put it in the case and snap everything in. Make sure you get a snap on all of them. Then you close that. It's kind of a little hard. There you go. You get the little clickiness. The fingerprint sensor worked really well on all of my phones. I mean, on all of these cases. The ease of use, the power button is horrible. You actually have to press really hard to be able to, access, to turn on the phone. I hated that button more than any other button on any of these cases. This button over here, the toggle for the... For the volume, that was really easy. That worked really nice. It's, it's kind of, it turns like a fan. Just the top part of the toggle moves and the base stays put. As far as the toggles, is the best toggle. But it's paired with the worst power button. The volume buttons are okay, but they're also kind of stiff. The back, it's nice to look at. It didn't scratch as I thought it would. Uh, it protects everything quite well. Ports are pretty easy to access. Hopefully this won't break off. The uh, charging cable fits fine. I had a problem, see, but it's kind of hard to, look at, look at how much pressure I have to put on there. To close it. There we go. Uh, it's kind of hard to access the, um, the bottom shade, the control center, there it goes, there it came out. Uh, it's almost like they, um, there we go. I think they put a little bit of um, 
bevel right here, a lower bevel on the sides to be able to access it easier because right above the power kind of there's a little bit of a hump and that keeps it from accessing the control center easily. Okay, same thing with the top. The top seems to come down pretty easily, but then it's kind of hard to push it back up unless you come through the sides. See, that's easier than that. Okay, so because it doesn't have the screen protector, it doesn't have the smooth screen. It has these the lip around the screen, and that makes it hard to be able to access the screen and the, the swiping mechanism. Now check out the sound. The sound is pretty good. It doesn't distort, though it, it's probably not as loud as it would be without the case, but it doesn't distort the sound. It sounds fairly good. And the screen clarity, obviously the screen is going to be perfect because there's no screen protector on there. So it's only the screen. It's a really nice case. It will protect the phone. You know, some one of the one of the subscribers uh, said, "Why would you even want a waterproof case uh, if the phone itself is waterproof?" Well, the phone is not waterproof. The phone is water resistant. So if you go to Apple and you tell them, "Hey, um, my phone got damaged." It's got water damage. You know what? It's not going to be covered under warranty. They're going to tell you, sorry, you'll have to pay to, for the repair. That's why these cases are that extra bit of uh, protection that you may need if you're going to be out in the water. Uh, I know I would rather use this than take a chance on that water-resistant uh, phone not allowing water to come in. So with the extra protection, you just have a greater chance of not having a bricked phone. As far as the salt water somebody asked about, I don't know. I couldn't find any information about whether or not these are fine for salt water, though I did see plenty of anecdotal evidence, people using them in salt water saying that they worked out just fine. What I can say is if you would have any issues with the case itself deteriorating because of the salt, life proof was great about replacing one of the cases. They replaced this one because the screen protector that I got on the other one was kind of peeling off. And didn't even ask for the old one back. There was a no questions asked, we'll send you a replacement type of deal. So their customer service is excellent. So if you have any issues because of salt water to the case, don't worry about that. They'll be taking care of it. As far as the phone, I personally wouldn't wouldn't risk it myself, but you may want to. But anyway, as, as a... Um, in general, this case is nice and protective, but it's kind of wide. It's wider than the other two, so it's harder to hold in your hand. It's also a little bit more slick because there's no texture in the back. The material is a little bit harder. The button is really bad for power. It's good for the toggle switch, and it's okay for the volume. I have trouble swiping up and swiping down because of the uneven surface on this, uh, but it has great clarity because it doesn't have a skin. So that's pretty much, ouch, um, all, of, all for the nude. This one's a little hard to take off. You actually have to use this um, to be able to pry it open, and then you can separate it. When you separate it, sometimes it's hard to come out because of the toggle switch. It kind of catches there. See, like, there we go. And when I'm taking it out, I almost feel like I'm going to break my phone taking it out of this unbreakable case. The irony in, you know, in that. But anyway, there's that case. Let's go ahead and move on to the Pelican. The Pelican Marine, it actually opens up fairly easily. It's got a, a little hinge on here. Hopefully it wouldn't break, but it's easy to open. And then the case separates fairly easily. You don't really need that little clip or whatever that thing is for the life proofs to open it. Comes in here. Also easy, and I'm not even going to bother to clean out the phones and stuff when I'm moving them because that's just too much of a pain. But when I was using them, I would basically clean it out really well. And um, the clarity was really nice on the screen protectors, both on this one and the free. You know, there was a lot of concern about that. That's one of the biggest concerns I get about these 
uh, with the screen protectors is what about that rainbow effect? Is there a rainbow effect on your screen? And there isn't. What you see there is just the reflections of, of the light up on top on the, on the ceiling in my house. But um, there is no rainbowing with these screen protectors. Not on this one and not on the free either. And it could be because of the environment, the, um, the weather in my area, the humidity or lack of, uh, the warmth. I mean, it's winter time and I'm regularly seeing 80 degrees plus in my area. So I don't have any issues with the screen protector. I'll tell you that right now on this one or the free. As far as the buttons, another big concern of a lot of you all because these types of cases usually have a hard buttons. The Nude is the worst. The Pelican Marine is actually quite nice. Very easy to press the power. You can feel it without even looking at it because it has a nice little raise there. The volume up and down is also really good on this one. Uh, the toggle is not as good as the Nude, but it works. It's not like super complicated. It works. Uh, this one is probably not as good as the Free on the toggle button. Um, the protection is great on the camera, on the back, it's got a nice feel, you got some lines on here and some ridges on the, on the sides to kind of grip it a little easier. It's more narrow than the nude, this one is, and really it's aesthetically more pleasing in my opinion. Now the issue with this one is that the audio is not good. I heard or I read somebody saying that the audio was really good on their Pelican and I'll tell you this, it is louder, but to me it tends to distort the sound a little bit more than the others. Here's an example. So. You, you might want to compare that to the clips uh, of, of the sound on the other cases. But to me, it sounds a little bit more metallic sounding, the music. Uh, it's a little bit louder, a little bit more distorted. And I, I prefer actually the sound that comes from the free and the nude than I do from the Pelican. And since I do a lot of listening to YouTube, um, that's a... That's a deal breaker for me. I mean, everything else is great about this case, but the sound just doesn't cut it for me. It really doesn't. But we have good screen clarity, good protection, good access to all the ports. The buttons are good on all of them. The toggle is a little bit weird. That's about it. And the feel in the hand is nice because it's narrow. This one, to me, uh, it, it's a really solid case. I really like it. It's easy also to remove and to put back on. There we go, it's off. So now, to probably uh, one of the more well-known cases, the free. This is similar to the Pelican in the material and the ease of replacing or removing the case. The thing about this one is kind of funny. Uh, you, you really should use the, the tool that's included to open it because if you use a coin or even your fingernail the material is a lot softer on the free than it is on the nude the nude is is more hard plastic and this one even though it's plastic too it's a little bit softer and you can almost cause indentations in the material you see that so when you do that when you use a coin you you tend to to uh, mess up the material a little bit here and I guess that's good over um, if you're gonna drop the case drop the phone maybe since it's a little bit softer it's a little bit better at at shock absorption I don't know it doesn't really affect the look of it that much but I did want to point it out because it is a softer material the screen again look at that do you see any of that rainbowing 
Yeah, you'll see smudges right now because, you know, I've got my fingerprints all over it. But I have not had an issue with rainbowing. Okay, so to me, this the screen on both this and the Marine are great. I did not have an issue with it. Um, as far as clarity, it's also really good. I mean, I'm not wearing my reading glasses, but even when I do wear my reading glasses, I maybe you'll see a little bit... Um, less clarity but you know that's to be expected it has a screen protector on there but I, I'm very satisfied with the screen protector and I don't see any rainbowing or oil slicks or whatever you want to call that on the screen the buttons they're just by far the best on the free than on any of the other cases they just work the um, volume you can even hear them it's got a nice little feedback there the power is easy to find and it's easy to press it doesn't require a whole lot of strength and then the toggle, same thing. You can it has a, a nice feedback, and the travel of the button of the toggle is pretty even on on going to mute or going to sound on. Whereas on the Pelican, it feels a little bit weird, where one side is a little shorter than the other. If, if that makes sense. But anyway, the buttons work great on the free. The screen is good. It's thinner than the nude. If you put the nude behind the free, you'll be able to tell the free is is more narrow than the nude. So it make the nude is harder to hold in your hand because it's wider, whereas the grip is really nice on the free. So we have a good grip, nice texture. The materials are a little bit soft, but that's probably pretty good for impact absorption. Uh, I like the screen. I like. What do I not like about this? Um, let's see on the sound. The sound is similar to that of the of the nude. It's it's a nice, good, soft sound. It's not as loud as not having the case, obviously, but it sounds good. And the sound is not distorted like I feel it is on the Pelican Marine. Uh, and maybe that's just because it's louder on the Pelican Marine. But as far as sound, I'm happier with the with the life proofs. It's really too, it's really hard to find something negative about this this free. It just works. Everything is good about the free. So I think you probably start to get to see uh, where I'm leaning as far as who's gonna win here. The one I had more ifs about was the nude. Just the feel in the hand, the buttons. Um, the width, I, I just can't go with this. I mean, it doesn't have the screen protection. The other ones do, and it doesn't affect the clarity of the screen. So you might as well go with the screen protection. So I'm going to give third place to the Nude. I mean, it's a great case still. It really is. But it's just those little details that are making me put it down as third place. And the Pelican Marine. You know, unfortunately, it's not going to be able to dethrone life proof because of that sound quality. That's the only issue I have with this one. And maybe the, the toggle switch is just a little bit weird. Uh, it's not hard, it's just a little bit weird where um, it's just not that comfortable to use. And then the, the opening and closing here, this might have more of a tendency to break just because of the design. I haven't had any issues. I just, you know, I just feel like it maybe could break more easily. So, also great case, but this will take second place, which means that our champion is the Life Proof Free. Now, hopefully you'll be able to get one like mine that I don't have any issues with the screen because if you don't have issues with the screen, it's kind of hard to go wrong with this case. Great build quality, feels great in the hand, buttons feels good, feel good. Clarity on the screen is good, the sound is good, and it's obviously going to protect you from water and from drops. Now, this is not the type of case I use every day. My favorite case is the Apple leather case, but when I need extra protection, this is the go-to. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about any of these cases, feel free to let me know. I'll try my best to answer you. Um, I hope I answered all the questions of those of you who posted them in my preview video. Uh, just a reminder to uh, log home. He's getting this case. I'll be, or she, I'm not really sure, 
if it's a Mr. or a Mrs., but I'll be getting a hold of you and you'll be getting this case. For my next one, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do a video about. I'm considering making a video of um, smart watches or smart watch straps, but I'll get back to you on that. Uh, I have the Gear S3, I have the LG Urbane, and I also have the Apple Watch, and I have a variety of, of uh, bands for them. So I'll get back to you on that. Whatever the next competition video is, though, I am going to have a giveaway. And guess what I'm going to give away, guys? Yes, yes, yes. One of these awesome cases, the Pelican Marine. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, participate. And um, I'll let you all know in the next competition video who's going to win the Pelican Marine. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to this video. And I guess that's all there is to it this time. Winner, life proof free. So we're done. Hasta la vista.